Okay, and now we're ready to install the greatest operating system of all time, NetBSD. It's a work of modern wonder. Okay, we'll install it. Look at these postmodern fonts of green to let you know that this operating system is money. NetBSD allows you to install your operating system to a hard disk and takes precautions against any kind of um, mistakes you might make and asks you whether you really want to continue. Just to be sure, it asks you once again. I think I'm going to do a full installation of this great operating system that even knows how to set your hard disk geometry correctly. Apparently, this operating system uses only state-of-the-art standards and requests for comments, so I must um, actually go ahead and continue with this. It's going to use 106 cylinder groups, which is very modern. Now, in this case, I think I want to use the BIOS console because I sure as shit knows what that means. Look how fast this operating system installs. Extra modern and artistic graphics set. The envy of all operating systems. It knows how to serenade the end user with eye candy. Next, I will configure the network. Like most modern operating systems, I can just press the Yes button. Something's going on with the timer. It's going to bring the network interface. Look at the postmodern graphical capabilities that are present in this omnipotent operating system. I'm just going to turn everything on. I already did this. is no timer and there is no spoon <laughs> hmm 
No route to destination. That is great. 100% packet loss. We are ready to go. Installation fail, which is all part of the plan. You'll leave the root password empty. I'll call this password password. P A S S W O D. Please don't use an all. It won't let me use a password I favor, which is password. from America, damn it. Zero percent packet loss is good. Now I'm done. F At a minimum, you should edit rc.com. Okay, thank you for using FBSD. I'm gonna restart this super machine. This NetBSD of wonders. Oh, great. But first, I need to power this off. I need to take the. Don't tell anybody that I'm cheating, but I'm going to remove this. Just attach this. Yes, need a CD. Thank you. Need a CD. Thank you. Okay, let's start her up once again with this postmodern primary super duper space age operating system. Outperforms them all with graphics and eye candy, the eye, and the world over. Let's see how we do it. Let's see how ready this mumbo jumbo operating system is for the desktop. This super enterprise product just waiting for the masses to adopt it. I'm impressed with the eye candy already. I wonder what the fonts will look like after the font config cache is updated. Watch out, Windows, here comes NetBSD. As you can see, this operating system is super fast. It is it was used in the Apollo program. It was also used by genetically engineered turtles who 
perform scientific experiments on computers and of course it is tuned to their speed. Alright, so here we go. There's a random port key image that I'm supposed to care about. And now it's going to let me log in to name name domain domain. So you can see the graphics are second to none. So type my password in there. All right, so now let's try their super state of the art. App to get for NetBSD. And let's install KDE3. Oh! Hmm. They don't have KDE3. All right, let's try KDE4. Nothing there. Let's try um. All right, so there's your desktop. This has got to be the best desktop I've ever used. You can see it's got lots of clear space. There's no clutter. Okay, now if you want to search for something, you just type the find command. You know, and then, of course, as you can see, the features are self-explanatory there. Um, so if you're looking for a file, you type find. You, you want to make sure that you let it, the system know that you're looking for a file. What the hell, I'll try minus H. Minus L. Minus P, I'll pipe it a few times, because right, it seems to want that. Minus D, E, H, S, X, X. Oh, that didn't work. Okay, well, that's, that's okay, because I'll figure this out eventually. Maybe I could use the man pages to find out how to use one of these define command let's see recursively uh, blah, blah, blah. the h option causes the file information file type c stat 2 for each symbol a link encountered on the command line to be those of the file referenced by the link not the link itself so basically that means H stands for hell. I don't know what the hell that means. Um, L means the um, how about find key. Oh, no such file or directory. Okay, well you could probably do some math. Let's see, one plus one. Well, what can you actually do with this operating system? Let's see. I wonder if I wonder if I could surf the net. All right. Well, um So if I had this as my primary desktop system, I could get a lot of work done. Uh, mostly I could make it look like I'm typing things and make sounds while I type. You know, then when the boss comes, and maybe clear. 
a few times. Maybe have that ready. Um, I don't there any games in here. All right, well, that's that's my review. Uh, that's NetBSD. It's a very modern operating system. Not a lot of clever clutter on the desktop. Um, it does one thing and does it well, and that is displays a black screen. Um, it does respond to the keyboard when you press a button. As you can see, the K is accurately displayed on the screen. Um, it also has a nice contrast between the white and the black there and um, although it, I think it's able to actually do perform network communications I, I'm not um, it, it's it's good and secure so it conceals you know it doesn't let the user know information it probably should know like what kind of network communications are, are taking place because you know that's just complicated no one needs to use an operating system that's complicated what people want is a simple operating system that does everything for you and this when you have it running will just will just do your work for you you don't actually have to run the applications so if you need to write a letter you, you just look at it and you look at the black and the it will write the letter for you and email it for you and you you know you don't even have to know about what what you wrote or the content of it and then when you know, the other person gets it and they email you back to like give you some comments back that the system will actually automatically process it for you and reply back to whoever you, you know, sent the email to. And under those circumstances, it just works great. So you don't have to actually do anything and keeps, it keeps life simple. And this kind of simplicity is what everybody's looking for. And it does exactly what you want. So that's 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 my review. Um, it is a very high tech, state of the art operating system. It, it's very very intelligent. It could it could figure everything out for you, and um, it's great.